This T6 will be featured in the show with the Yellow Thunder aerobatic team, and you know we had to give it a test flight. Yellow Thunder is made up of two Canadian brothers. We fly close to each other and we do aerobatics while we're doing that. Drew Watson let us tag along to see what a formation aerobatic flying team looks like in the air. Okay, I'll show you how to get in. Before taking off, Watson gave me some safety tips and directed me towards the air sickness bag. From the, is this from the, of, 40s from the 40s too? From the 40s, yeah, that's how much, that's how many people have, have required it. We took off with Drew's brother following right behind us. He flew his plane right up next to ours in formation. Then it was time for the aerobatics. I put on a brave face, but was a little nervous. The first trick was a roll. It started with a pitch down before Drew pulled the plane up and we entered the roll. Next, we tried a loop. With this one, we felt some G-forces, about three and a half Gs. We dove, pulled up, and then floated upside down. Yellow Thunder will be one of the performers at the Warriors Over the Wasatch Air and Space Show, which is finally back after years of pandemic delays. I've been waiting for this for about four years to fly this show, so I'm pretty stoked to be here. Their father actually performed in the air show years ago. And I think it was about 30 years ago that these two airplanes have been here flying together. My father was flying my brother's airplane at the time. The flight with Yellow Thunder was smooth. The tricks were fun. And thankfully, the barf bag was not needed. Airplanes clean. You had a lot of fun. There's still a smile on your face. What more can I ask for? Now, if aerobatic tricks aren't your speed, the show looks just as cool from the ground. The air show is running through the weekend. We've got all the information on our website, KUTV.com. Reporting for Ion Utah, Kelly Vaughn, KUTV 2 News.